Hey guys, Gavin Eckhart. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today, as you can see by the title, this is the announcement video for the next um, series on Forza 7. So, um, yeah, if you guys have not seen either PGR, Project Group Racers, um, V8 Supercars, or IndyCar, um, suggest you go check those out. Because, well... Those are the series before this. This is our fourth series on Forza 7. So yeah. And um, I personally really love this series. Um, I mean, I've done... Like, each series has... Each season has um, 11 races. Except V8 Supercars, which had 10. So that's 32 races. And I'm still enjoying the series a lot. So... Next series we are going to be doing is the Forza Touring cars. Um, for those of you who don't know, these cars are um are more based off are based off mostly the T T C R cars of IMSA. So yeah, so these car so if you don't know what T C R is. Go uh, go look up TCR IMSA, and those will give you a good, um, um, pretty much understanding of what these cars are. Or you can wait a little bit in the video where I will reveal the drivers and who gets what car. So for T, so I'm gonna be calling this the FTC series because I don't feel like saying Forza Touring series. So the so yeah, um, in most of the videos I'm gonna be calling this the FTC. Which stands for Forza Touring Cars. So the FTC series, there are nine cars. You got nine cars, and so yeah. But if you remember, if you watched the IndyCar um, fin finale, you will know that I said there was going to be something special about this season. Well, I didn't lie, because this season w the drivers were determined by the Forza Lap Time Challenge. I knew I was going to use this for something. Didn't know what, but this, but I'm going to be using the Forza Lap Time Challenge to determine. Well, I used the Forza Lap Time Challenge to determine who would race. So I took the top nine drivers in the Forza Touring Series, or the, in the Lap Time Challenge. So I took the four final, the four drivers who made it to the finals, and four. Four other drivers who made it to the semifinals, which is eight, and then of the drivers in the quarterfinals, I took whichever nine of those eight drivers had the fastest slap, and he was added. So, let me read off the nine drivers that made it in. So, the eight, so the nine drivers that are going to be with us in the for the touring cars series, they are Alexa Patterson, Susan Graves, Barrett Sims, Katie Goff, Kurt Elliott, Connor Snelling, me, Bryce Ewart, and Carissa Nasato. So those were the nine highest placing drivers. In the Forza Lap Time Challenge. I'm not going to spoil anything. Just in case you want to go watch it. At some point. And for this series. There's only two cars. That have this, there's two cars that have the same number. Well technically there's four. And so I took one of the cars. That had. Um, there was two. There's two number ones. And then there's two number fives. I took one of the number ones. And turned it into the number fourteen, which is I'm what I'm going to be driving. So, all right. So first, I guess let me read you the schedule, and then after that, I'll show you who's driving what cars. All right. So, um, let me see what tracks. So, just a quick look through the schedule. This should be an amazing season. Um, and for this, I did look at what the TCR does run, and then I looked at some 
tracks that were similar to those tracks. Um, that I thought were similar enough to those tracks that they that the FTC cars would work. So let me read off the schedule, and we do have um, a couple first-time tracks. Actually, we have three first-time tracks that have not that weren't in V8 Supercars, PGR, or IndyCar. So we got three brand new tracks to the series. So we're going to be starting off the season at Road Atlanta, one of my favorite tracks in the entire world. So we're going to be starting at Road Atlanta for the Road Atlanta 25. This will be a 10-lap race, and one thing you will notice is that these races, the shortest race is 24 miles, and the longest race is, I think, 30. Yeah, so th with these, I want I want to start making the races longer, at least when the cars get faster and drive better. So, like, P Forza P1, I think, will probably be the last series we do. And there, uh, there's a possible Champions League that I'm thinking about, which are going to be, like, divisions that that have cars that were that divisions that were somewhat eligible but didn't have enough cars. One of them is I'm thinking is Open Wheel Legends, which has like five cars. Possible Champions League. I might do that. I might not. That's um, just something to yeah. But Forza P1 will probably be the last series, and I want those races to probably be like thirty to forty miles long because those cars are some of the best driving cars in the game. Some of the fastest and best driving, so I think those would make more sense to be like from 30 to 40 miles. Meanwhile, our races have been usually from 20 to 30 each season. These races, the longest is 30 and the lowest is 24. So we're starting to move our way up in race lengths, which I think is definitely a move I want to do. So, yeah, um... So yeah, Road Atlanta is our first race. It's going to be 25, la or 25 miles and 10 laps long. And it'll be run on the full circuit. Moving on, we're going back to Monza, which was a race I actually found was went actually a lot better than I thought. Never been the big biggest fan of Monza because I've just had so much trouble running there. But... Um, after that race in IndyCar, I th do think uh, Monza will be a re will definitely be a reoccurring track that we will definitely see more often, and so will Yas Marina. So will Yas Marina. Yas Marina was an amazing finale. It was a good finale. Yas Marina will definitely be coming back in some future ones. All right. So yeah. So we're gonna be going back to Monza for race number two. This will be, it will be the Monza Thirty. Actually, I, we have a couple 30-mile races. So we're going to be doing the Monza 30. It will be a 20-lap race, and it will be run on the short circuit during the day. So yeah, 20 laps, 30 miles. Oh, my God. Then we'll be going to Brands Hatch. This was one of the tracks that the TR, TCR actually runs. So we'll be going to Brands Hatch for the Brands Hatch 24. This is a 20-lap race, and it will be run on the Indy Circuit, which TCR actually runs, which is what FTC is based off of. So running, so we'll go into Brands Hatch for the Brands Hatch 24, 20 laps. It'll be run on the Indy Circuit in the rain. And, guys, leave a comment in below below because I don't remember. Have we done a race in the rain where it started in the rain? Where it started raining and ended mostly dry because I don't remember. Um, I might go back and see it. Or if one of you guys knows, tell me in the comments below because I want to make sure I do that um, at one of these rain races if I haven't done so already. Then after that, we're going to be going back to Coda, a track we've only gone to once, and it was for the finale of PGR. But we are will be going back to Coda for the Coda 28. This will be race number four. And we'll be running the West Circuit once again. I think we've run it before. And we'll be running it at night. Always fun. Alright. So, that's the first four races. Now let's go to, to the next four. So, we now we go to our second... Or we go to our first track that we're going to for the first time. 
So race number five will be at Airfield, the Test Airfield. For those of you who know Forza 7 and some of the earlier Forza and some of the games prior, there was a Test Track Airfield on the game. So we will be going there for the Airfield 26. It will be a 15 lap race and it, there is only one variation. So we're going to be running that the full circuit during the daytime. And then we're going to be going back to Sonoma for the Sonoma 26. It'll be 13. It'll be 13 laps long, and we'll be running the short circuit during the daytime. So moving on, race number seven will be at another track. We'll be going to for the first time. We'll be going to Road America. Road America is a track I've never really liked too much. I don't know why. I just haven't. Probably because I'm bad at it. But we'll be going to Road America for the Road America 24. This will be an 11 lap race and it'll be run on the West Circuit during the day. Next, we'll be going to Suzuka. Suzuka is a track we haven't been at since PGR. And it proved to be an amazing race. And I want to see if I can repeat if we can repeat that. As we're going to Suzuka for the Suzuka 28. This will be a 20 lap race on the East Circuit during the rain. Alright, so we're going to get into our final three races of the schedule. So, our third and final first time track for the Force 7 series, we're going to be going to Virginia for race number nine for the Virginia 28. This will be a 25 lap race on the Patriot Circuit at night. Now, Virginia is a track I've never raced at. I've ran there. I've, I have done, I've done multiple test sessions in these cars just to make sure they do work here, and they do. They work fine. So we're going to be running at Virginia Patriot Circuit at night for 25 laps. Then we're going to be going back to Watkins Glen, a track we've only visited once. Given it's one of my favorite, probably one of my favorite tracks in the entire world. Actually, it's not. It is one of my favorite tracks in the entire world. So we're gonna be going back to Watkins Glen for the Watkins Glen Thirty, our second thirty mile long race. So we're gonna be going to Watkins Glen for thirty miles. It'll be twelve laps long, and it'll be run on the short circuit during the daytime. And now we get to our season finale for the FTC series which will be at Indianapolis Indianapolis has occurred has shown up twice once for the VH Supercar series and once for IndyCar so and why not let's bring it back and have it be the finale for FTC so it will be so it is going to be the season finale for FTC it'll be we're going to be there for the Indianapolis 26 it'll be a 10 lap race on the Grand Prix Classic circuit during the daytime all right so now let's get into the drivers and who's going to be racing in what all right so here we are um apologize for that light um not much I can do about it so all right so, now we get into the drivers and where they're going to be. So, first, we're going to start off with Lexa Patterson, as she is going to be driving the number one Audi Sport RS3 LMS. All right. Next, driving the number two. Driving the number two Castrol Honda Civic WT WTCC is Susan Graves. All right, next driving the number four ROL Motorsports. RML Chevy Cruze TC1 is Barrett Sims. Alright, so next 
driving the number five eBay Motors 125i M Sport BMW is Katie Goff. All right, so next, driving the number five Zengo Motorsport Honda Civic is Kurt Elliott. Next, driving the number 13 Volvo Polestar Racing S60 STCC is Connor Snelling. Next, driving the number 14 Volvo Polestar Racing S60 STCC, Connor Snelling's teammate, me. Next, driving the number 33 Mac Tools Sicily Motorsports A Class A45 Mercedes Benz is Bryce Ewart. And finally, driving the number 67 Rotec Racing S3 Saloon Audi is Carissa Nasato. All right, guys, so that is it for every, everyone and their car. Um, I've noticed this video is significantly shorter than all the other introduction videos for these series. So if there's something I've left out, um, after this I'm going to go watch one of my other ones, probably IndyCar, um, just to make sure I didn't leave anything out. And if I didn't, and if I did leave anything out, um, I will make a follow-up video explaining any of that that I missed. Um, but it, other than that, I think that's about it. So guys, um, you can expect this series to be up in the next couple of days. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So yeah, the series will be up in the next couple of days or so. Um, so yeah, I want to thank guys for watching. If you're excited for the series as much as I am, leave a like and also subscribe so you don't miss this series on the channel. I also do other videos such as NASCAR stuff. Um, recently I've been playing um, a game, a NASCAR game on Roblox, which is really good. Um, I want to get back playing NASCAR 07. I've actually, I might get back to new, um, same number, New Legacy. I might. Um, I did a practice race um, at Bristol on that game, on NASCAR Heat 5, and actually won. So, NAS same number, New Legacy might be coming back sometime soon. But I'd say of the two series, NASCAR 7 takes priority over same number new legacy. But yeah, um, I also, um, probably one of my favorite things to do on the channel is these custom NASCAR seasons where I take some weird rules or whatever, weird stipulations, and put them to NASCAR. Um, and put them in NASCAR. My favorite one I've done is the three-team season. And if which is definitely my favorite one that I've done. Um, if you want to check that out, um, it, it's one of my more recent videos. Um, so yeah, go check that out. Um, so yeah, um, other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you're excited for the series, and hit subscribe so you don't miss this series when it, start, when it comes out. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.